Pry, take one. I'm Danny, and I programmed and filmed and collaborated on Pride with Samantha. Pride is an app, and it's part film, part game, and part novel. Apple just named it one of the top 25 apps of the year. The main character of it is James, who's a veteran of the first Gulf War. And the app kind of starts off with him shipping out, and then it jumps ahead six years. And once you're six years later, you're now kind of from his perspective, as he's working demolition, his vision's starting to fail him, and he's thinking back to his time spent in Iraq. Pry is kind of in that interstitial space where it's partially a reading experience, but there's a lot of cinematic elements to it. You go back and forth between reading a character's kind of inner monologue and then seeing what they're seeing. We've been working together for 10 years on media, narrative, and sort of film projects. One of the things that prompted this was when the iPad was coming out, it was kind of billed as the future of the book, but then all the books and reading experiences on the iPad were exactly like print books. They had animations of pages turning. And we wanted to create a film and experience that could only be done in this medium. We were thinking about like portrait as the form of the book. Just when you hold like an iPad, like this is pretty much the shape and like form of a traditional book and as a way to tie it back into that. And we did this in a number of ways. We have chapters still. We have a table of contents. And the interface we want to like call back to this idea of this is still, in some ways, a reading experience. and The iconic gesture of the pinch, right? And because we wanted it to tie to the story, we're like, what is the pinch do? And there's a sort of forcing there of like going deeper or literally like forcing someone to witness something and understand that experience. What became really the focus of it, though, was the way we construct and edit and light ourselves and how memories look on the surface and how they look at kind of deeper levels and trying to kind of metaphorically represent thought and memory. So the development is still continuing. We're releasing the next part in probably a few months, and it's just it's just two parts. It's what's out now, but there'll be a finite, you know, cutoff yeah, point. It's not but, like um, it's going to just like constantly yeah, be added to. We're I, getting close.